Hey guys, this is Rob here again with another review. Today we got an e-liquid review, and the e-liquid is going to be coming from Rocket Juice. This is what their name is, Rocket Juice. All right, here's one of their bottles right here. There's Rocket Juice. So this is premium grade e-liquid. Okay, made in the USA, and it's RockerJuice.com. So. Okay, they don't have very many flavors right now. They did just start. Okay, they only got one, two, three, four, uh, five, or six e liquids. So, yeah, they got six e liquids. So, they got one called Crowd Surfer, they got one called, called Encore, one called Flying V, one called Mosh Pit, one called Number One, and one called S'more Cowbell. Okay, so. I do got three of them in here they sent me for purpose of review okay and these are six milligrams okay and uh, so this one here is uh, it starts off at nine dollars for 15 mil I believe that's what it is yeah nine dollars for 15 mil and then it goes up you get 15 30 50 or a hundred mils okay so let's see if I get more out of this alright so you can pick nicotine levels which are 0, 6, 12, 18 or 24 so you can pick 0, 6, 12, 18 or 24 milligrams of nicotine and like I say you can get up to hundred mils which is two 50 mil bottles okay so you get 15 30 mil 50 mil and 100 mil at two 50 mil bottles and they do start out at nine dollars for 15 mil okay so we're going to try we're going to check out their e-liquids here they sent me they did send me three and one of them was called encore so let's see what Encore is. Okay, we'll bring that up here. So so okay, a 50 mil is nine dollars, 30 mil is fifteen dollars, fifty mil is twenty-two dollars, and a hundred mils is forty dollars, okay? So basically fifteen dollars for thirty mil, that's what a lot of people do buy. But you can't go for nine dollars to get the fifteen mil. Okay, so basically on their website they do got product description. So for the encore that we're going to do first, it says product description is like the name suggests. Encore is our rock and cream brulee that won't go away till you have just a little more and maybe a little more. It's very, very delicious. Do yourself a favor and get yourself enough so that at least one bottle can make it through the recommended steep time. Good luck. So recommended steep time is five to seven days. They actually have that on their website. All the Rocker Juice vanilla based flavors will be pre-steep for two weeks prior to sale. You can check the age of your juice by the born on date printed on the upper left corner of your bottle label. So there you go. These were born on 516 okay this one here was so I have been letting it steep I've been letting it breathe it steep they were a little bit lighter color than this so right now they are like a, a brownish a little bit of a brownish color right now they were like a clearer color okay so they do come with childproof cap bottles okay and as you can see it does say 516 was born on date of 516 they got it wrote in there it does say Encore, check mark 6 milligrams, says Rocket Juice, and then there's their little design right there. Okay, their little logo. So, today, like I say, we're going to do the Encore. And like I said, the Encore was uh, uh, it's our rock and cream brulee that won't go away. So, it's supposed to be a cream brulee. Alright. We're going to put that in the Camry K101 with the eagle look like fresh cotton with a dual super nano coil okay
I don't know what I'm smelling in this yet. I'm going to be honest. I haven't really had a, a cream brulee. Okay. So this is going to be the first for me to, to, to taste this and see what it is. So I really don't have nothing to compare it to because, like I say, I haven't really had a cream brulee. So let's get it all wet here. So I don't know what this is going to taste like to me. Some of you guys out there are like, well, I know what one is, but like I say, I, I don't know. So which could be a good thing for this review and it could be a bad thing, you know. You know with me never having one before, I don't have nothing to compare it to. Or then again, like I say, don't really know. So, all right, guys. Let's give it a shot, see what it tastes like. And like I say, this is a 50-50 blend. They do say what their blends are, and this is a 50 PG, 50 VG blend. Oh, that's nice vapor production. Nice thick vapor right there with the 50 50 blend. Yeah, that's nice. So, one thing I did forget to mention is they got the childproof bottles, they got a needle nose cap, and they do have. The things on there says keep away from children and pets. And it also does say recommended steep time on there is five to seven days. So they do have their they do have the requirements of what they should have on there. So they got the childproof bottles, it says keep away from kids, it does contain nicotine, may contain nicotine and all that. So they're already starting off right off the bat. Brand new company already starting off with getting everything they need to uh, be be legit. That is a nice, smooth juice. Not a, not a harsh throw hit. It's not making me cough for anything. Nice and smooth. I taste like a, you can taste a vanilla cream type. I, I kind of get like, to me, it's like a, a caramel in there too, but not real strong. Like I say, I've never had a cream brulee. I really don't know what it is, but I'm just going to give you my opinion of what this tastes like to me. Uh, like I say, I'm tasting the vanillas in it. It's nice and creamy, nice and smooth to the throat. And I'm kind of getting like some kind of caramel, caramel, some, something like that in there. I'm not really for sure. I kind of taste something like that in there. I don't know if cream brulee is like a dessert or what it is. I'm kind of getting like a little bit of a sweetness to it too. Yeah, that's a nice tasting juice right there. That's nice. Nice and smooth. Like I say, I'm tasting some something like a, a cream, a vanilla cream, a little bit of caramel, caramel or something like that. Uh, that's a nice juice. That could be an all-day vape for me right there. like sweet it's kind of like a dessert type of thing I'm not for sure I mean that's what it take that's that's what I'm getting but I'm not for sure what a cream brulee is like I say I don't know but that is a nice all-day vape right there nice and smooth great flavor not overpowering with anything it's 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 nice nice and smooth and sweet okay so as for that one, that, that one there was called the Encore. Okay. So let's see. Next one we'll do is let's see. We will do let's do the S'mores Cowbell. 
All right, let's see what the s'mores cowbell is. We'll check it up here. So, okay, so this one here is uh, this is another 50 50 blend. And this is S'more Cowbell is a 50-50 blend of delicious white chocolate s'more. Tastes perfectly toasted marshmallows between creamy white chocolate and graham crackers. So I guess this is going to be like graham crackers with some toasted marshmallow and white chocolate. Okay, so this is going to be white chocolate s'mores. It says, what I wanted to accomplish with this flavor was to have the three main ingredients of S'mores Cowbell, graham crackers, toasted marshmallow, and in this case, white chocolate stand out individually from one another while maintaining a harmonious balance of flavor. The taste of perfectly toasted fresh from the fire marshmallow is the headliner in this new the, in this flavor. The cream, creaminess of white chocolate beautifully appears as you exhale, mixed perfectly with the sweet spice of graham cracker. So okay, so it's gonna be white chocolate with toasted marshmallows and graham crackers. And this it was on 516 again, and I also breathed and steeped this one, so it's a nice little darker color. Like I say, this one was a lighter color when it came to me, too. So, we're going to take that one, we're going to put it in the Tesla M5 with the IGO W3. Okay, fresh cotton, just dual coil, fresh cotton. So let's get it wet here. Give it a couple little fires. Looks like it's going to be good vapor production. Again, once again, for 50-50, that's good vapor production. I smell like a graham cracker on it. So let's try it out here. Now this one I am getting a, a a little bit of a throat hit on this one. I'm tasting the white chocolate in this and the graham cracker. I'm tasting the graham cracker flavor and, and I do taste like I say the white chocolate in this. And, and I do get like the uh, <laughs> the toastedness of it, okay? That that tastes good. I say when I'm thinking about s'mores, I think of the uh, <laughs> Hershey's chocolate, the brown chocolate, but this has got the white chocolate in it. It gives it just a little bit of different taste, and I gotta say this, it's nice. It's a nice taste. They do work well with each other. I'm getting the toastedness in there, the white chocolate, and I'm getting the graham cracker. I can't say I'm getting too much marshmallow uh, part, but I am getting like a toastedness in there. But yeah, I'm getting the white chocolate, the graham cracker, and some toastiness. Well, like I say, I'm not getting too much of the marshmallow. Nice, smooth liquid once again. Good vapor production and a little bit of a throw hit. This one's got a little bit of a throw hit. That is a nice vape. Nice and smooth vape right there. Alright guys, alright so that one is the s'mores cowbell, that's nice, that's a nice liquid, okay, so let's get a drink here, get me a drink, alright so the next one we're going to do is number one, so let's go back here and we'll check out what number one is supposed to be. 
All right, so it's also another 50-50 blend. I think all their juices are 50-50 blends. Okay, so it says number one is a 50-50 blend of vanilla custard is our most beloved flavor here. Rocker Juice, we believe this vanilla custard will not only compete, but beat the competition as well. There is no need for a long description of this flavor. Simply put, it's just amazing, flavorful custard. Okay, like I say, we've all tried lots of flavor custards. I've all, I, I, I've tried multiple ones. I've even did a video on some of the custards. Now, we will try this one and see if it at least compares to the other custards I had or if it's better. All right, we're always looking for a better tasting custard. Now, this one here, nice little brownish color also. It was clear when it came to me. And we're going to put that in the Maraxxas clone with the with the uh, flavor control lotus right here okay so once again fresh cotton nice needle nose bottle again so let's get this all nice and wet here let's kinda get it all fired up in there Looks like it's going to be good vapor production once again for 50-50. That's good. Good vapor production and a good throw hit on these. Alright, so let's put the top on. And we'll give this a shot. I say now this is Rocker Juice's uh, Vanilla Custard. Like I say, we've all had different vanilla custards, but this is their vanilla custard, so we'll give it a shot. Excellent throat hit. Good vapor production. <laughs> I say I, I'm more into the non throat hit stuff. I, I'd rather have more vapor than I would throat hit, but this one does have throat hit for people who want throat hit. Once again, this is a nice, smooth flavor, and I'm getting the vanilla in there, the, the vanilla. Uh, it's different than the other vanilla custards I've had. But it is nice. It is a nice flavor. I say I am getting a throw hit on this. <coughs> Take a drink. <sighs> I think it's getting dry. Let's put a little bit more on there. This tricoil really goes through the liquid here. It goes through the juice quick. Alright. Alright guys, like I say, I am getting the vanilla custard flavor out of this, okay? Like I say, I have tried lots of them. This one is right up there with uh, a lot of them. It does taste nice. And uh, I could vape this all day. It's, it's uh, <coughs> a good flavor here. I'm getting a nice creamy vanilla is what I'm getting out of this. Yeah. So, 
Okay, like I say, those that's the three liquids that I got from them for purpose of review. And you got the number one, which is a vanilla custard. It can be an all-day vape for me. Uh, I am getting a, the creamy vanilla out of this. Uh, some of the other ones I've ha also have tried, some of the other ones I did like, have a little bit of a, a, a different taste to this uh, than theirs okay but this isn't a bad vanilla custard I could vape on this all day this could be an all-day vape and I will vape on it till it's gone it's nice smooth no chemical taste in any of these no chemical taste no uh, soapy taste none of that stuff that's a nice good premium liquid right there okay and then I also did the s'mores cowbell excellent s'mores it's just a little bit of a change up with the white chocolate in there it gives it a nice smooth creamy flavor on that one that's a nice another all-day vape and then the encore once again a nice smooth vape right there okay so like i say all three of these could can't will be and can be an all-day vape for me they're they're the flavors of them are just are nice okay nice and smooth and and good vapor production for 50-50. Now, uh, the other two, I've never had a cowbell or a, I've never had a s'mores type of uh, e-liquor and stuff for, so that's different for me, and I really enjoy them. Now, the vanilla custard, like I say, it's hard to get vanilla custard. Uh, there, there's so many of them out there, and it's hard to get uh, to uh, get the best one out of all of them okay but this is a nice vanilla nice smooth vanilla custard okay and like I say I can and I will vape this all day but I'm not gonna say that it is the hundred percent best okay but it is right up there with them and it tastes real nice okay so alright guys that's it for the today with the reviews I will put a link in the description for the company for rockerjuice.com so you can go check them out and uh, try some of their juices nice tasting e-liquids right there I say they are a new company so they're just gonna keep growing and growing and getting more flavors out there for you alright guys so until next time